In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to turn your architecture portfolio, even just a flat PDF, into a fully interactive online slipbook using a tool called Flip HTML5. You'll see how to upload your work, customize it with animation, videos, and then share it professionally, whether that's through a link, QR code, or even on your website. Just a quick heads up, this video is sponsored by Flip HTML5, but I've been testing and playing around with it myself over the last few weeks, and I genuinely think it's one of the easiest ways to present your portfolio online. It's simple, fast, and honestly, it just makes you look way more polished. Let's dive in. So the first part of this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a online slipbook using your existing portfolio, which you're ideally gonna have in either an image or a PDF based format. So what you wanna do is just go online straight to fliphtml5.com. You're gonna see the landing page here and we're just gonna go straight to the create now button. So what you wanna do here is just upload your portfolio, which you've created in other software. So maybe you've done it in InDesign or Canva or somewhere else online and you've got just a standard bland PDF with no interactivity so you just want to hit upload files and you can see here I'm just importing all the individual pages of my portfolio as JPEGs because that's what I have handy but you can use all of the other major file formats you can use TIFFs you can use individual PDF pages you can use your combined PDF it will just automatically upload all of your pages and then once that's done just click auto merge and convert into one flipbook after uploading. So you can see now taken all of those pages of my portfolio and uploaded them into a really beautiful, clean and functional flipbook. And you can see just by flicking through the pages, um, everything's working really well and everything looks great on screen. There's no artifacts in the images and content have stayed at a really high resolution, which is great. So what I'm gonna do is just start going through and editing some aspects of my portfolio. So I'm just gonna give it a title. And then what I'm gonna do is go down onto the customize tab which is where you can start to customize the actual elements and interactivity of your flipbook. So you've got all of the different settings here. So you've got the previous or next button, which are these little arrows on the side, which you can leave on or turn off. You can even change that based on whether you're viewing this on a mobile or a tablet. You can add sounds. And what I'd recommend doing is going through all of these design and customization settings and changing this to your preference. But some of the key ones in here, I'd recommend getting familiar with things like your logo. You can add your logo and then a clickable logo URL. That's really good if you want to link back to your website. You can change the color of the background. Background can be a gradient or it can just be block color. And then we've got the page flip settings. So you can change that to page flipping or a slideshow. So in a slideshow, there's no page flipping. It's just effectively sliding through through the different pages of your portfolio. I'm gonna leave that on page flipping. As you can see, there is hundreds of settings you can add here. So your entire flipbook will be completely your own. No one else will have one like it. It's not gonna feel like one of those cookie cutter online flipbook templates. Flip HTML5 is completely customizable and no one else is gonna have a flipbook like yours, which is great because employers and people looking at your portfolio are gonna be able to see the amount of time you've taken to present such an important document. Now there's a few other technical settings as well as the display settings. You can add QR codes, which will allow people to scan that with their phone and go to your website or a link of your choosing. There's a few other things here. I like to basically leave them all. They're already optimized for your flipbook. And when you're working in the flipbook editor, you can just see at the top here, you can preview what your flipbook's gonna look like on the different device formats. So you've got your computer screen, you've got tablet or iPad, and you've got mobile phone as well. Now, one of the other things to note, if you go into the themes tab under customize, there's a whole set of already made for you layouts with a whole series of commonly used setting libraries. So go through and have a play around with some of these. You can see there's all different options that come with a whole set of different preset out customization options. Personally, I like minimal, um, neat and clear, but it's up to you. There's also a whole bunch of presets here for backgrounds and different viewing things. I like to leave it on classical milk or texture. These are just some nice minimalist ones that I think go well with architecture portfolios. But other than that, we're basically ready to go. There's a few other tabs here, which I'm not gonna go into detail on, but they can help you to add your brand and profile and a few other things like that. In terms of ways to share your portfolio, you wanna hit the share tab. You can see you can share based on the URL. You can also preview that if you hit open, which is gonna show you exactly what it's gonna look like when someone clicks on that link. So you can just copy and paste that and you can include that in your emails, your messages, your LinkedIn bio, all your social media, things like that. You can also download this QR code, which is great for putting onto printed apps assets or up on screen if you're doing a presentation or maybe you've got a hard copy portfolio, a business card, a letter, a CV, something that you're doing, I recommend adding it to that. And then that way the people looking at that printer content can just whip out their phone, scan your QR code and go straight to your flipbook online. 
but you've also got the embed and download option. So embed is helpful for putting that straight into your website. So if you've got a portfolio website, you can just use this option to download um, the code for your flipbook and pop that straight into your website. That will work beautifully straight out of the box. So in this part of the video, I'm gonna show you how you can create your portfolio from scratch using Flip HTML 5's great page editor and template systems. You're not gonna to need to have any kind of base portfolio. You don't need Canva, you don't need InDesign, you don't need Microsoft Word, you don't need any of that. We're gonna create your portfolio from scratch in the Flip HTML 5 page editor. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is just go to home. You're gonna to go to create from scratch. We're gonna use A4. Since we're starting from scratch, we're still gonna want something a bit more polished. So what I recommend doing is using one of Flip HTML 5's great ready-made templates. There's a whole bunch of clean layouts perfect for design portfolios. You just need to drop in your images, your text, even any videos or links, and you're all set. This is a great option for students or grads who don't have access to InDesign or Adobe tools, which can be expensive, or you're not in front of a computer with powerful systems to run those programs. You can do it all on the browser, and all you need to do is jump into the template window, and I'm just going to search for portfolio. And you can see there's a whole bunch bunch of templates here which are going to be great and they're all really good bones for you to create your portfolio from but I'm just going to go ahead and use this one here just click add all pages I'm going to delete all the existing pages since we don't need them and I'm just going to start editing this based on the information that I want in my portfolio and you can see it operates just like all your standard design software everything's easily editable it's got all of the settings down the right hand side of the page and you can add all of the content you need down the left side of the page. So you can add your images, maps, links, text, video, audio, shapes, buttons, or anything like that down the left. And on the right hand side is where you change the attributes of the elements in your portfolio. Now the benefit of the Flip HTML5 page editor is it's fully customizable. It's going to have all of the settings you need to change. Um, it's not a half-based editor at all. It's completely full service here. It's basically Canva or InDesign running on your browser. So there's everything that you need is going to be here. So when you're ready to place content, all you need to do is go over to the left panel here and just go to image, just upload your image and you can pop it in that way. Otherwise it's got access to Pexels and Pixabay as well. If you want to get any of their stock imagery based on that, then you just drag and drop the content into the page and you can crop it on the right and you've got all of your standard image editing tools. You can see the editor's also got a full set of snappable guides um, and these are just basically the exact same as they are in InDesign or something like that. And it's also got a layer system. So you can see this black square that I've brought in is sitting above the image, but I want it to go behind. So just right click, go to layers and select move to bottom layer. And then you can also change the colors of these elements. I'm just gonna use the eyedropper tool to match it to the background of this image here. And you can see that these sections are grayed out. That means they're not going to be plotted on the page. Um, they're overhanging, which is great. And if at any point you just wanna preview your portfolio, just click the preview button at the top and that will give you this pop-up preview window so you can see how your portfolio is going to look in the native flipbook view. And when you're editing templates, you can see they've obviously got placeholder images in here, but what you can do is you can just select that image and click replace, and then you just select the image you'd like to place in that place, and that's going to keep all of the cropping and layout settings, so it's a really quick way to make your portfolio um, using this preset. There's no drag and drop, you just literally replace the images, and you can, you can have your portfolio up and running in under an hour this way. So when you preview, this is actually multiple images in one so you can add as many as you like and the user can just slide through them this is a big benefit for an interactive flipbook portfolio because you can add a heap of content in one place without having to have tons and tons of pages and there's nothing worse than having a portfolio with 100 pages just to fit on the content you need so when you're editing the slideshow you can just see on the right hand side here under settings you can just remove the content that's already in there just click add images and go through and select the content on your computer that you would like in that slideshow and you can see on this adjacent and page here you've got these hot zones these little white areas here that are gently pulsing if you click on those you will get a little description and additional text and this is great for adding additional detail about these images and you can edit those when you go back to the editor and you can change what happens when you click on these hot zones so there's different options ranging from open links going to pages pop-up images or pop-up messages and if you just edit the pop-up message you can add whatever you need about this drawing or image here and it's a great way of adding extra detail in your portfolio without cluttering the page. 
and you can see this is a video so this is not just an image this is actually going to be a clickable video and you can add that content based on either a video in the flip html5 library you can embed an video on any of the standard video platforms like youtube vimeo etc or you can just upload a video from your computer directly so now I've finished that portfolio, you can see all the content has been added in and I'm just going to show you what it looks like I'm using the share to a URL link. Um, I've put a link in the description below so you can check out that portfolio made using that template. And don't forget to redeem the 20% off offer. I've just jumped onto the link there and you can grab 20% off your subscription and I couldn't recommend using this enough. Big thanks again to Flip HTML5 for supporting this video. I've linked them below along with the sample version of my own Flipbook so you can and check it out now if you found this video helpful give it a like share it with someone building their portfolio and if you haven't already subscribe for more videos i've got a bunch of new videos in the works on portfolio design architectural workflows and digital tools other than that i'm going to catch you in the next one